And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. everyone and welcome to EDK. We're going to start off with our brand new focus. Yep, UK Garden Birds. But before that, um, what are we doing with knowledge today? That's right, we're retrieving it. I'm asking you questions, you're thinking hard and you're bringing the knowledge, bringing information back into your working memory. Uh, what do I need the classroom to be? Silent. We all need to focus, we all need to concentrate. What do I need you to be? Yes, I need you to concentrate. Forget what your friend's doing, forget what the teacher's doing, listen to the questions, and let's get cracking. Right, we're talking about birds over the next few days, weeks, months, maybe even years. I want you to look around you when you're outside, and I want you to be able to recognize some of the birds that we have around us in our country. Now, the first one we looked at last week was this one. Please tell me the name of the bird. That's a robin. Uh, we see lots of robins at this time of year. Hopefully, very obvious um, one to recognize. Uh, the other bird we talked about last week was this one. That's a magpie. There are loads of brilliant stories around magpies, but again, with the black and the white, it's a really distinctive bird to look at. Now today, I'm gonna to talk to you about another bird. Here it is. Lots of you should know what it is. Please, can you tell me what this bird is? It's a blue tit. Now they're usually quite, they're tiny birds. They're kind of cutesy little birds. They've nearly always got blue on their head. They've got a yellow breast, they've got a yellow front, and then they've got wings that are blue and yellow. They are a very famous bird. They're lots of people's favorite bird because they look so colorful and so kind of cute and, and cuddly. Um, uh, again, they're quite small birds. They're part of a larger family um, of birds. This is known as a blue tit. And I hope that with three birds now, and we're gonna keep remembering them, keep retrieving them, you'll be able to spot these when you're out and about. And if you do see, do see one, talk to your family, say, oh, there we go, there's a robin, there's a magpie. Ooh, might be a blue tit. Come on, you know you want to. Right, religious books. What is the holy book for Christians? It's the Bible, well done. What's the holy book for Hindus? That's it, it's the Vedas. What's the holy book for Jews? It's known as the Torah. What is the holy book for Buddhists? That's right, it's the Tipitaka. And what is the holy book for Muslims? It's the Quran, well done. Okay, let's move on to um, science and scientific elements. Now remember, some very, very clever scientists, I think a couple of hundred years ago, started to discover everything that our world was made out of. So um, us, our bodies, and everything around us is made of some very simple things that are all combined together, and then we have all the things around us. And those very simple things are elements, they're the, they're the simplest form of everything around us, and some very clever scientists put them into a periodic table. Here's a picture of the periodic table, we've seen it before, and this, um, table is every single element that we've discovered. Um, I can't say we'll never find any more, but for now we think these are all the elements. Um, they're all, they've all got their own symbol, they've all got their own um, uh, letters to show what they are. We're gonna go through some of them now, and you're gonna tell me what they stand for. Right, here we go. Helium. Argon. Copper, zinc, whoa, mercury, 
aluminium, neon, silicon, iron, fluorine, hydrogen, potassium, nitrogen, sodium, tin, phosphorus, lead, oxygen, carbon, gold, silver, titanium. Whew. Well done if you got lots of them, we've not done them for a while. Hope you saw the little message that popped up earlier, top work. Also, just before we go, I've got a big apology to make. I got some everyday knowledge wrong last week. I said that the capital city of Finland was Reykjavik. It's not. The capital city of Finland is Helsinki. Iceland's capital is Reykjavik. Thank you to uh, Miss Lawrence and Willow Class at Stukeley for pointing that out. I'm sorry, we all make mistakes. I won't be doing that again. See you next time. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you.